Listen to your mama when she said Nothing good is easy I'm Joe. This is the Joe is Hungry channel. Today, I'm at the Calhoun Zaxby's and I'm gonna check out their brand new signature sandwich. Who can push me up against the door or drag me to the floor? I think I'll love you anyway. You can turn me backward with your hands, whatever you command. I think I'll love you anyway. I love you anyway. Welcome Zaxby's, my name's Chris. Would you like to try a signature sandwich today? Yeah, I wanna get three signature sandwiches by themselves and then I want to get a large french fries a side order by that's by itself. Okay and all the signature sandwiches do you want spicy or regular? All regular. We've got our three signature sandwiches. Let's pull off to the side and do the Joe is Hungry temperature test. You can push me up against the door or drag me to the floor. I think I'll love you anyway. You can turn me backward with your hands, whatever you command. I think I'll love you anyway. I love you. This thing comes in at a scorching 169.5 degrees Fahrenheit. That's cooked fresh, that's hot, they win the Joe is Hungry temperature test. Now it's time for further evaluation, so let's head back to the studios of Joe is Hungry, located in my uh, semi-adopted home down of Fairmount, Georgia. And there seems to be a chicken sandwich war going on, and the latest contender is Zaxby's. And they're calling their version the Zaxby's Signature Sandwich. The Zaxby Signature Sandwich consists of a breast meat filet, double hand breaded, dressed with Zax sauce. They have three thick sliced pickles on a buttered toasted split top potato bun. Now if you want the hot version, all they're going to do is trade the regular Zax sauce for the spicy Zax sauce. I've never had the spicy Zax sauce and I likely never will. Now each one of these weighs in at 780 calories and for you number crunchers and nutritional stat watchers, I have the stats on the screen and in the description below. Each one of these sandwiches solo by themselves will set you back $4.99. Now, if you want to get a combo meal, that's going to set you back $6.99. And that comes with a regular order of crinkle fries and a 22 ounce fountain drink. Which leads us on to the next test, the Joe is Hungry weight test. Now, Zaxby's doesn't post any serving weights on their website, so I bought three of these so I could check for consistency between signature sandwich and signature sandwich. And of course, I've set the tear on the scale. Signature sandwich number one weighs in at 8.45 ounces. Signature sandwich number two weighs in at 8.80 ounces. And signature sandwich number three weighs in at 8.70 ounces. That's pretty close. That's consistent. They win the Joe is Hungry weight test, which leads us on to the next test. The Joe is Hungry big reveal. Never go slow or hard like a rhino. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. All right, we've seen what it looks like, we've seen how it compares to their advertised photos, and we've even seen how much it was. And actually, to me, it's looking kind of impressive there. It's a big piece of meat, it's got pickles. I think that Zach's sauce is probably going to be a winner, but we won't really know until we do the Joe is Hungry bite test, which of course, it means bite test engage.
so far so good. The breading is very crunchy. It doesn't flake and fall off. The pickles are crunchy. Um, the bread doesn't totally melt. I was afraid that the chicken breast was gonna be too dry when I bit into it. Au contraire, not the case at all. I've never really been a big fan of their Zach sauce, but I gotta say, it's working really well with this sandwich. It gives it a flavor, it gives it a little bit more depth. As far as value, five bucks for an eight and three quarter ounce sandwiches, about in the middle of the road. As far as the taste and how it compares to the other sandwiches, uh, definitely blows McDonald's away. I mean, they're not even in the same class. As far as, say, comparing it to Chick-fil-A, well, it's, it's a completely different animal. And as far as Popeyes, I'm gonna say I like this better than Popeyes. I like the flavor better, and I like the meat, and the pickles have enough tartness in them this time. Now it's time to give this thing a score. If y'all don't know my score, my score is one to 10, nine being the best. Anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience and almost never achieved. You can see my scale on the screen and in the description below. Now it's time to give this bad boy a number. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go with an 8.1. It's the Zach sauce, it's the freshness, it's not dry. I like the sandwich. That's my review. If you found this interesting, if you found this useful, subscribe to the channel, support the channel, and we will see you in the next video.